Hi, my name is Karen Baker. Um, I've been working in the aesthetic industry the last five to six years. Um, today we're going to talk about laser hair removal on the bikini area. And if you like the following video, subscribe to the channel, please. Do you find clients usually find it difficult to shave the area if they're used to waxing? <clears throat> yes. Yes, I do. Um, oh, like, look, I've had clients come in and say to me that they've had their partner shave them. Like, yeah. it's it's different for everybody. Somebody else might be used to shaving. Somebody might get irritation from shaving. It's completely different, like, yeah. for everyone. So, yes, I do find some clients find it difficult, and then other clients get their partners to do it, and yeah. other clients. I guess when you're asking to be clean shaved, it is yeah. a 45 minute job. Yeah. If you're on, on the onset of treatments, if you're going to properly mm. prepare for treatments. So I think like that, breaking it up, it helps a lot yeah. in that scenario. I actually had a client before um, who had, she's mm. on all fours in the bath and had her partner shaving around the back for her oh my to God, try and prepare for her treatments. very honest. But let's face um, it, like it's just, it's a story she's so, just I mean, it is a difficult area to get to. So a lot of times, um, especially with all the clients, mm. they need like somebody to lend a hand, I guess, in their areas. IMAC is out of the question. Yeah. So I guess that's an easy solution to getting rid of hair, but when it comes to shaving, we need to be careful where we're putting the razor mm -hmm. as well, because easily you can cut yourself. Mm -hmm. So um, whatever makes it easy, really. Yeah, well, look, I mean, they're the stories you hear every day. It's yeah. just something that you wouldn't obviously know about if you're not coming in and out, and people obviously aren't going to talk about it. Exactly. You know, but it is the truth. And that's why we're here, is to share <laughs> all the information on how you can prepare for treatment and what our clients' experiences are and what they do to prepare, prepare for a treatment. And it's, yeah, it's pretty much honest, is it? What's post-treatment guidelines that you'd give to clients after having a bikini laser? Post-treatment, definitely don't kind of go to the gym, sauna, steam room, anything like that for at least 48 hours. Anything that's going to re-stimulate heat back yeah. into the area, I would stay away from. Yeah. Um, we're looking to cool down the skin after, we're not looking to heat it back up. That's when you're looking at irritations and yeah. stuff like that. Um, let me see, I probably would say exfoliate in about five days after. It mm -hmm. does help remove that dead cell debris, so the hair does follow that yeah, a little bit it'll easier. encourage the shedding to happen that bit Yeah, now I have to be careful when I say that as well, because clients do expect to see the hair falling out. Not every client will see that. They yeah. might see patches, lighter hair growing back. Yeah. Things like that. It's also understanding that it takes four to six yeah. weeks for the shedding process to actually happen. Exactly. So, I mean, you're obviously definitely aloe vera or a post treatment uh, balm for the skin that's probably coming from the fridge, something cool. Yeah. Just to help exactly. cool the skin down. But and to keep on top that way. That's it. There's not a lot to it. It's just to keep the area you kill and stay away from heavy exercise. And then just uh, loose clothing to not irritate the area. Exactly. But then I think, yeah, you've pretty, yeah. that's it. And yeah. that's just for like two days after. You know? mm -hmm. um, so, in all experience, based on your experience mm -hmm. treating, being a specialist doing performing <coughs> laser treatments for the past for a few years, um, what is the general feedback from your clients on how they benefit from having laser hair removal treatment compared to methods that they've used in the past? Alright, it's going to probably sound a bit cheesy, um, but most people will actually tell me how much it actually changed their life. Yeah. Now that's gone from all areas, but definitely the bikini, especially like anybody that goes to the gym or mm -hmm. they get irritations and they're moving in with their partner or they have kids banging on the shower door and they can't shave like exactly, you know yeah. what I mean so I mean that all comes into play I guess you're saying like it is like if you're going to proper shave clean shave it's 45 minutes yeah um and like that if you have to if you want to clean shave yeah. every day you're keeping on top of it daily if mm. the growth is strong well, that's it and some people like they don't have the time for that like most people now are working full time they have kids, you're lucky if you get five minutes at the end of the day yeah. to wash your face. Yeah, Never so it's, it's mainly the inconvenience with other methods and yeah. the convenience that you have. 100%. But obviously having the hair gone and not even to have to worry about picking up a razor mm -hmm. or booking a waxing appointment and letting your hair grow for that wax appointment. It's really just convenience in the end. But what I find as well, uh, not only the bikini area, but in general people say that they're more happy with the skin texture on the area, more yeah. so than not having hair on the area because mm -hmm. it's an overall improvement on how the skin appears. Well, that's it. You're because not the pores getting, and all are gone. Exactly, and you're not getting that stubble on the skin constantly as yeah. well. Like, so do you get the texture of the skin. And then tan and all goes on nice and smoothly if they're wearing artificial tan. Yeah. So it's an all round win-win. 
Well, yeah, I actually had a client to say that she actually couldn't stop feeling her bikini line in the car. So smooth. Yeah. Like baby skin now. <laughs> yeah. So that's another story. <laughs> Great. Well, thanks, Karen, for no running through all the um, ins and outs on bikini today. No problem. If you guys have any more questions, as you know, um, we're more than happy to share with you um, all the experiences with laser and to go through all the pros and cons with treatments in the aesthetic industry. So feel free to leave any questions that you have in the comments below this video and I'm also going to leave um, a couple of links with other videos based on bikini uh, laser hair removal to give you more information around that topic. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, you'll be notified on any videos coming up and as always feel beautiful, be happy, confidence is key.